Sisters of Christ, y'all. Uh, I'm up, y'all. I'm gonna share a dream with y'all and what the Lord gave me this morning. And I've been I see my other video haven't loaded up yet. And I've been did that like it. Yeah, I don't know these phones. I did this like around yeah, probably one something or something. But it's coming up. Okay, and then um the Lord woke me up with this song again, y'all. Um bread of heaven. Send down from glory and many things you are in us a holy king a carpenter you are the living word <laughs> send jesus jesus send down from glory y'all so he woke me up with that song many things you are a holy king, a carpenter, you are the living word. And also, I had multiple dreams, y'all. I'm trying to th figure out the rest of them. But this one right here sticking out, right? I kind of, I remember one dream, but it's about some people I know. So, the Lord revealed me about that. But this one dream stuck out, y'all. Okay, y'all. I had, um. You know how when you was a, you be in a car accident and you know how uh okay let me tell you how it go let me tell you my dream because it's like something was in the past that happened to me in a dream i had to get up and i had to rebuke and counsel it you know when you get in a dream in the morning counsel and denounce it i mean you know not in agreement with it because you know satan always trying to work too but the lord also gave me a word in the dream <coughs> a word about the dream okay I was at this car dealership and they was giving me the run around because I had bought a car for them, from them and my car, I had bought a car from them, right? It was a purple car, nice, cute, pretty car. And I never was able to pick it up. And I wonder why I ain't able to pick my car. Because first of all, let me take that. Thank you, Lord. First, I had a car accident. And you know how you have a car accident and they tell you to go to the dealership? And your car is total. Okay, I had a car accident. The car was total. And then I went to a dealership to go get another car. But when my car was total, right? You know how they you, you got full coverage and everything, gap and everything, they pay for your car. And they let you get another car. You can go get another car. And then too, um, in this car accident, I had a lump sum of money coming to me because of that car accident, you know, with a, a personal body injury. So I went to this car dealership and I went to go pick out a car and they told me my car was gonna be ready. So next thing you know, I'm waiting forever in my car, for my car to come and I never can get my car. So I've been fighting with these people, trying to get my stuff, trying to get my car and my money with the with the you know your inheritance. Thank you, Lord. So I went to back to get my try to get my car and my money. And I'm like, what's going on with these people? So I went up there. Uh to go try to get my car, my money, they started giving me the runaround. Then I looked in the back, they had other people's cars in there too. Um, had sheds on, I mean, you know, the covering over the car. And I'm walking through the back where they got the, where the cars. And I'm like talking to this man, like, where's my car at? Y'all supposed to be doing getting my car. I need my money. Y'all been messing over me, screwing over me and all this and this and that. And one man was like, he, he didn't know what was going on. And the other man was like, Another man came up and I said, yeah, I talked to you. You telling me you gave me the run around. What's going on with my car? Y'all ain't been um, giving me my money back to me and this and this. And so he was giving me the run around, right? So next thing you know, um, it was just, um, I told him, I said, uh, yeah, I'm going to get the news station up here and all this. And I was trying to get everything going so I can get, get my money for my, um, for my car and my money. So next thing you know, y'all, it was this little chubby Hispanic boy. End up, I went over him to him some kind of way. I found he had all these drugs on him. Y'all, he had all the drugs on him, right? And so I, I, like, I told the boy, I said, uh, you don't tell me what's going on with my, what, what's been going over here with my car, what's, what's behind the scene with my car, and all this and that. Then I'm about to call the police on you. So I was like, you know, guess like blackmailing the boy. So the boy turned against them and was on my side to tell me that what was going on with my car, that they was running a stream. You know how they do uh, a thing going on? Uh, like they just took my money, took the car and everything. So the boy was like, he going to go on my side and, and he going to witness for me about the, the sting that they doing over there. That they were doing people like that. And it wasn't only my car when there. I still didn't have my car and my money. But then I went and I was trying to call on the phone 
to communicate to call uh to go take a court <coughs> and i switched out of that dream so i had to get up this morning and i had to cancel it lord i cancel i renounce whatever in the dream i'm not in agreement with the devil is alive we rebuke that in the name of jesus i started canceling and talking to the lord and then the lord gave me this scripture because you know also the lord been telling us back then um how satan and them and all and really even when our generation is and um how satan has stole our inheritance and also with the car you know also i looked at it as transportation it was purple with royalty my car was purple, so it's a royal car. Then my inheritance, the money. But the Lord been selling these people, skip stealing from us. And I went back to go get my inheritance. But then they still was trying to give me around, run around. And then the Lord set it up that this one dude was there and he had drugs on him. And he was on my side. And then when I was trying to go plead the case to everything, to call, to call the people, to get the judge and get the police, you know, everything involved. Because I had my paperwork for the car and everything. They had my paperwork for the car and, and, and I was going to go take them to court. And I was calling on the phone and I just went to another dream. But then the Lord woke me up with this this morning, y'all. Because he also been telling us about how we got to love our enemies. And also, um, God will make a way for us. He's so good. Because he made a way for me to even get my stuff back. Because I know he was make. I, I already know he, I was going to get back what he promised me. Because he identified the boy. And let the boy, um, he let the boy come forth. And let the boy, let me. I already knew I was going to get my stuff back in a dream. That everything that they took from me. I already knew that. Because it was guaranteed. Because the boy, also the boy, he didn't, he, he was with me. God made it able that this boy was with me. And he, and he had drugs on me. So he was going to testify against them. Because <coughs> in the dream, I felt like the boy did it because um, he knew he was going to get caught. The boy that had all these drugs, he had drugs on him. It's like big old pills or something all in his pocket. They were just sticking out. And I told him, I said, oh, you got drugs. So the, God allowed me to, st I still knew in the dream that I was going to get my inheritance back. Everything that, they, that the devil stole from me, they took from me, or try, you know, our inheritance took it down from the family. So the Lord was just letting me know to trust in him because he still made a way. Revealed this dude in front of me to let me know he had drugs on him. And the boy was on my side. So knowing God is on our side and he sent help. He always with us, y'all. So, y'all, I had to, so the Lord gave me these, these scriptures this morning. Let's go to. Because, young, we have to give it to the Lord. Because when we try to fight things on our own, we ain't going to get nowhere. You got to give it to the Lord. So I had to learn. That's why the Lord didn't allow me to call on the phone to call the, uh, to try to get him with the judge to get to the, uh, to get, go take him to court to get a lawyer. Thank you, Lord. Because I was calling a lawyer. And the boy was going to be my, te uh, my, um, my witness. But the Lord didn't let me call him because God said he our, he our lawyer. He Who else can represent us and get our stuff back than him? Thank you, Dad. So now I see why he didn't even let me do the phone call. And he had me with a witness. The boy. So, y'all, the Lord always saying, he been stressing us. Knowing that back in the days, you know, even with our ancestors and stuff and all this, you know, your, your bloodline. And I'm just, like I said, I want to mention this. I'm not just talking about us black people. Because there's other people in nationalities that been, they the uh, enemy to rob Satan and to rob you out your inheritance. So, God let me know that they were stealing people inheritance. Like he said, in a dream I had a call. That's my transportation. It was purple, royalty. Who you are. Then, um, the money. Your inheritance. They've been stealing people inheritance. And then when I went in the back of the building, where they had the cars, they're looking for my car. They had other cars. Had people cars with the, uh, the, uh, you know, the little thing, the covering over it, the cloth covering over the cars and everything. And then was in some of the cars looked <coughs> look like they were working on them, taking parts of some off of them, y'all. Cars had the hood up and everything. And this is supposed to be a, a, a car that this dealership went to. I don't know if they were fixing them. But I think they was taking the parts off of it because it ain't like they were running a scheme or something back there. Because then the boy was at the drug. So I believe they was taking parts off the people's car. It was like a chop shop, y'all. 
<laughs> so let's get what God gave us. Okay, let's go to 1 Corinthians. You are the living word. That's why we pray for enemies. Y'all, God, the vengeance is not ours. It's the Lord's. So this is what he gave me. Let's go to 1 Corinthians. Um. <coughs> okay, let's go. He gave me number um. First Corinthians six, and the, the title on there, this thing said, "Do not sue the brethren." This is why I know the Lord was talking to me. Cause remember, I told you the Lord had me to get two Bibles, and one Bible, one Bible I got, it don't, it don't have all kind of titles on, and other Bible I do. But when I woke up this morning. This title on this, on this one, He gave me and said, "Do not sue the brethren." So let's read this. Dare any of you having a matter against another go to law before the unrighteous? Before the unrighteous, because I, I guess I was gonna go to the court before, and you know the Lord also telling us about in these courthouses too, and also when you when you're in trouble with somebody, you don't need to discuss this with the unrighteousness, because they're not they're not gonna they're not gonna judge right, they're not gonna give not saying judge, they're not gonna give the right of uh, the right of uh, the right eviction, you know what I am, y'all get get the right of uh, ruling or whatever it is that you need. So look at he say, dare, dare any of you having a matter against another go to law before the right unrighteousness? We need because we need to go to the Lord. That's what God said. When people do it dirty, we need to go to Him and talk to Him about it because the vengeance is not ours; it's the Lord. Because when we if we start fighting back and doing stuff another way, then you'll become sinful. So I'm glad that's why the Lord probably didn't even, took me to another dream when I was on the phone. I don't even remember what happened to that after that. I went to another dream. Because I know when I was in a dream, I know I probably was angry. I didn't feel like I was, I was just, you know, I don't know if I was angry, but I felt like, I, you know, I was disturbed in a way. Because I'm like, y'all don't mess me out of my car and my money. So let's go to this. And not before the saints. Do you not know? Hold on, let's go ahead. Dare any of you having a matter against another, go to law before the unrighteous and not before the saints. See? Go before the saints. Our people, because we all don't want a court. Because you can't be hanging out with unbelievers. They, if you go to judge, that's why God said you got good judges and bad judges. Because they ain't going to rule it right. So we don't need to go to go to the unrighteous. You got to go to your, your your brothers and your sisters, the saints. And let them judge accordingly. Because they'll be walking by the word of the Lord, the law. Do you not know that the saints will judge the world? He said, do you not know the saints will judge the world? And if the world will be judged by you, are you unworthy to judge the smallest matter? <coughs> and the world will be judged by you. Are you unworthy to judge the smallest matter? Do you not know that we shall judge? Look, do you not know that we should judge angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? If then you have judgments concerning things pertaining to this life, do you do you appoint those who are least esteemed esteemed by the church to God to the church to the church of God? We go to God about things. When people do you dirty and all this, and people send your inheritance, they still doing it to this day, stealing everything from you. You got family members stealing from you and everything. Go to God, child. He say, um, I say this to your shame. It is so that there is not a wise man among you, not even one, who will be able to judge between the brethren, between his brother. Not even a wise man between one. He said a question mark. He said, <coughs> I say to you, this I say this is to I say this to your shame. It is so that there is not a wise man among you, not even one, who will be able to judge between his, their, his brethren. He put a question mark. <coughs> <coughs> but brothers goes to law against brother, and that before unbelievers, and that before un unbelievers. So we should go to un among brothers and sisters, not to unbelievers, because they ain't gonna give you the right ruling. Now, now, therefore, if it is all, it is already then an utter, fa utter failure for you 
that you go to law against one another. It's already a failure. Why do you not rather accept wrong? Why do you not rather let yourself be cheated? A question mark. No, no, yourselves do wrong and cheat. And you do these things to your brother. <laughs> you got to ask him more. So why can't we judge nobody? <clears throat> you do things back to them. So the, also the Lord said we can judge it from among each other. But then too, you got to learn how to forgive. And the real true judgment go to the Lord. Because um, other ones, you doing stuff to your brothers too, right? You got a question mark. Do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? That will God say, I couldn't, he let me call and go against him because then I'll be sinning right along with him. Do not be deceived, neither fornications, nor idolizing, I mean idolaters, nor adulterers, nor homosexuals, nor, uh, nor sodomites, nor thieves. They were thieves. Nor covetous, nor drunkards. No reviles, no extortioners will inherit the kingdom of God. And then he said no homosexuals in there too. <coughs> because I seen a video, somebody was trying to take out the word, talking about, oh God, oh, don't, y'all, this new age stuff. Y'all, just be aware with that with them kids. Let's pray for them kids on that. Okay, it says, right here it says, will we'll enter the kingdom, inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you. Look, and some were such of you. But you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you just, but you were just, but you were justified in the same, in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the spirit of our God. Because earlier this morning too, you know, you wash over, you got to forgive people for your sins because we were once them, y'all. <coughs> and I saw the Lord telling me, thank you, Lord. For me, not thought, you know, yesterday, if you look at my video when it come up, um, I told you I went to somebody, a family member, uh, somebody I kin to went to do their hair. And the person said that she was, this person was a two-headed snake. And I said, I, that, that let me know the Lord, let me know about it. Because also the Lord was showing me in dreams about this person. You know how they do. But God also told me last night, you know, you got to learn how to forgive people. It ain't like I had no grudges against them. Then I was just like, because I know God showed me stuff. But God just letting us know. That people do you dirty, but you got to understand, you was once them too. Because we probably was, I know he probably saying, I was probably a two-headed snake back then. Because we was young. We, we were older. I mean, younger and older. We didn't know what we were doing. So, also he's saying to us too, that um, when people do you dirty, you know, you have to learn how to forgive them. Don't hold no grudges to them because we were once like them too. Thank you, Lord. Because also in my video, I told y'all about that. So, God brought me up to talk about that too. Because there was a two-headed snake. So we got to understand, he said, forgive them for what they do not know. Because people, in the other word that he gave about uh, yesterday, <coughs> it was talking about like uh, washing in your sins to make you over. That people dead and they don't know the Lord Jesus Christ that he could wash them away their sins. So then the Lord got me with this. Also with Satan, you know, people still in your inheritance. Because people were taught up into this, raised into this. People just going to be... Just expect this is going to be happening a lot, y'all. Because God already told us that things are going to get hard and people are going to be doing this. And we got to make sure we stay lined up with the word of the Lord and uh, and, and apply our light to his law. Because then if we go against him, we're going to be uh be, be uh, just walking like him, sinful. So that's why the Lord didn't let me call, call the people in the dream. Because also the Lord, the vengeance go to the Lord. <coughs> Okay, let's read this. All things are lawful for me, but all things are not helpful. All things all all things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Foods for the stomach and the stomach for foods. But God will destroy both it and them. You see what the Lord said? Because the vengeance is the Lord. He said he would destroy both of them and, and them. I would destroy both it. He would destroy the stomach and the food. He said I would destroy, destroy both it and them. Now the body is not for sexual immorality, but for the Lord. And the Lord for the body. 